Hello YouTube, this is just a uh, video to demonstrate the um, proof of concept of my um, modular Hellfire system. Each rack has four Hellfire missiles on it, which I have made, um, and each rack has its own expressions controlling the chips. One expression controls one missile, and then in the middle, the rack controller chip rolls each of those missiles, like when they launch, etc. And each of those is controlled by the weapon pylon chip. Now, the weapon pylon chip takes inputs from my radar chip, which I'll show you later, and compares that to where the gunner is looking. That's just a quick chip I whipped up. Um, and basically, if I'm looking at a target, say that tank over there, it will turn the lock on, which you can see that green light, red, green, red, green, um, it will lock onto that chip, and if I press E, left click and right click at the same time, don't ask me why, um, it will fire the first available Hellfire. So if there's a Hellfire on rack 1, it will fire that. If not, on rack 2, it'll fire that. If not, rack 3, 4, etc. At the moment there's only four racks because this is designed for an AH-1Z I'm going to build with a friend a bit later on, um, which in real life only has four racks. So, I'm fairly sure this will work, so I'm going to show you top-down attacking on this vehicle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I haven't configured the explosions, but you can see it's fired the first missile from rack one. I'm going to go ahead and fire a couple more, just to show you how it works. The um, missile fires forward a little bit, then it heads up to a height 2,000 um, inches, uh, Gmod units, above the tank, and then once it's close enough to the tank, it will go straight down towards it. So you can see it goes out a little bit, up, and then straight down. That little bit where it goes straight down, it actually has leading, so if that tank was driving forward, it would actually um, go down to where the tank will be, not where it is, which is quite clever. So that's the last missile on that rack, so now it should fire a missile... should fire a missile... bugger. Oh well. Okay, so the modular system isn't quite working yet, but you can see that it definitely works for Hellfire 1. I'm not sure why that's not working, but we can see those four missiles have hit that tank. Now, I haven't put G-Combat uh, on it yet, but when I do, the G-Combat um, C4 from G-Combat Extended will be used and for those who aren't aware what that looks like it looks a little bit like this just this will be the warhead yeah it's pretty effective so that I'm kinda upset that that doesn't work but I haven't tried the modular system so that, that's been untested, so I'm not surprised it didn't work.